Hey clinical folks, so this is the promised long-awaited video walking you through how to do your case formation. I also have detailed uh, instructions right here on Blackboard. Um, so this one, this part of the paper is much more directed than many of uh, the other sections. Um, so you need to make sure you hit every part of this. I would highly recommend using subtitles. Um, and some people have written this in paragraphs, some have done bullet points. Either is fine as long as you're writing in complete sentences. So a case formulation is what you would do as a therapist once you've like done your intake, had a chance to sit about the client, think about the, what there's going on with them, and you sit down and you plan your therapy. So what am I going to do to help this particular person? So um, each of you have already chosen the therapy and your rationale. So what you want to do is uh, think about how that theory behind that therapy would think about your person. So obviously this is going to be really different if you're thinking like a psychoanalytic perspective or you might be thinking edible things versus a cognitive behavioral perspective where we're going to be thinking pretty concretely about what they're telling themselves in the moment, right? Um, what information would that type of therapy emphasize or want to know? And what therapeutic techniques would be recommended? And you've covered some of this in your rationale, um, but you can expand on it here if you want. So you should have a problem list, all of the problems that are going on. So what are their problematic behaviors? What problematic social experiences are they having? Uh, what problems are he and she, or he or she experiencing? Very important. Um, and this can include a diagnosis, but it can also just be problematic behaviors they're engaging in or problematic things going on in their life around them. The next thing is the working hypothesis. So based on the theory behind your chosen therapy, why does this person have the problem they have? Uh, what specific problems would you want to address for this person, right? So, um, you know, again, let's think Freudian, psychoanalytic. Uh, because this person had a disjointed relationship with their parent growing up, then that's led them to repeat that pattern in their current relationships. Um, and uh, what I would want to address is, uh, you know, helping them uncover that through free association and therapist interpretation. Strengths and assets of the person. So think about uh, on the case study worksheets we've looked at throughout the semester. Um, where are the strengths and assets for that person? What are the good things they have? And for some of you, this will be hard, right? Like you've got serial killers, but think about, you know, probably they're charming. Um, you know, maybe they've done well in their career. So think about assets you could, maybe they're intelligent, right? Assets you can draw on to try to make therapy successful. Then challenges you might encounter in trying to do therapy with this person. So this can include um, them being a cooperative, you being uncomfortable treating them, but and also just other things in their life that might interfere with them being able to attend a therapy, for example. And then your treatment plan. Uh, what are your goals for treatment with this person? Um, you know, not to murder people might be one, right? Or it could be something a little bit less extreme, like um, try to help them recover from depression, right? Try to help them establish uh, strong interpersonal relationships. Uh, would you follow the typical manual or techniques for this therapy, or would you want to customize it for your client and why? And if you're going to customize it, say how. Um, so that is the case formulation. Again, this is the most structured. Make sure you're answering every single one of these questions. And again, can, each can be in paragraph form or in bullet points. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Please reach out, email me, set up a Calendly uh, meeting if you have any questions.